Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will continue with another um, JavaScript, JavaScript algorithms and data structures project. This is the Roman numeral converter. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to convert the given number into a Roman numeral. All Roman numeral answers should be provided in uppercase. Okay, so if we get two, we should return two i's, three, three i's. Okay, you remember maybe Roman numerals from school. Now, um, before we start writing the code, to, to save up uh, some time, I have already copy-pasted this object I, I wrote. Okay, I'm going to go through this right away. So inside the function, I am just pasting this const, and it's an object called numerals. And what I am doing here, I'm basically creating a table of conversion. So one is the property of the object numerals, and i as a string is the Roman numeral value. Okay, so we have key values for everything. I uh, created this so we have this in handy, so we can use it for converting uh, decimals into Roman numerals. So just make sure to, to create this as well. You do, you'll have to type it. Okay, so it's just an object with properties which are number which are numbers and values which are strings and Roman numerals. I have only taken 1, 4, 5, 9, 10, 40, 50, 90, 100, 400, 500, 900 and 1000 because the others we can construct using these. Okay, so we need only these to construct every Roman numeral. Now, what we need to do is um, we need to start from the last, uh, the, the largest Roman numeral, which is 1000. And for every number we get, we check first if there are any thousands, if there are any uh, hundreds, and so forth. Okay, so uh, let's make a list for, let's make a, um, an array with only the keys of these object numerals and reversed, so we get the largest first. And to do that, I'm just going to create, uh, let's make this const. I'm going to make this, um, now, these are um, the keys, so decimal keys, I'm going to call it, of numerals. Okay, let's make this larger and better, okay. Now, to do that, we are going to use object.keys and... Uh, the name of the object is numerals and I want to reverse this because now this is an array. Let's console log this. Keys. And as you can see we have right here printed an array with the values. Okay, now what we want to do is also let's declare a string so this will be let romanized and let's start it with an empty string. So this is the initial romanized version of the number we get. Okay, now we just iterate through all the decimal keys starting from uh, 1000 and to do that I'm going to use for each keys dot for each and inside I can iterate through all the element and I'm going to call this Maybe a key, and this one should do something like this. Okay, let's put it into this one. Okay, now what I want to do in the in the first one, I will have I will have one thousand. So in the first iteration, now I want to check if. Um, if the number I'm getting is larger than 1000, if it is, I'm going to add one M to the Roman num numeral, okay? And then uh, after that, I will remove 1000 from the number. If the number is still more than 1000, I'm going to add another M and continue to remove 1000 until we get that uh, that number is no longer larger than 1000, then we will continue with 900, okay? So for that, I want to do a while loop now, uh, to access the, uh, to access, okay, so we have the key, we want to check if the number, well, uh, the, or maybe while key 
is smaller than equal smaller than equal to number what we want to do is just um, adding to romanize I'm going to add that uh, Roman numeral which we can access using the object property so the object in this case is uh, is numerals and using bracket notation key okay so I am adding so if the number is 3200 then I am adding an M and after that I'm going to remove from the number that key which is 1000 so then it is left over 2000 2000 is still uh, 2000 is still bigger than the key which is 1000 and we keep adding another M until we are done and when we are done we go to the next iteration of the decimal keys which is 900 and we add CMs if that is true okay this way we keep uh, updating the Roman numeral I think this one should do the job now we need to return the Roman nice let's console log this okay this is what we want for 36 3 X's and VI perfect uh, I think this one does it make sure to write all the code and let's run the tests okay perfect okay guys um, I think that's it for this video. In the next one, we will continue with uh, Caesar Cipher. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video if you find it helpful. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.